in 22 billion years. It'll expand faster than the fabric of space-time can keep up with it. And it'll just rip. And I'm terrified by this. Right now, the night sky is in the midst of a remarkable transformation that is set to completely alter its appearance within a few decades or even years. Astronomers from all around the world are sounding the alarm, and notable figures like Neil deGrasse Tyson have just confirmed a terrifying revelation. Polaris is on the verge of exploding, and the tale behind it is both astonishing and distressing. Polaris holds a unique position in the night sky, being the North Star that has always been a constant reference for stargazers, navigators, and astronomers. But what could have caused this huge star to explode? Could we be experiencing the most terrifying astronomical event of our time? And could this massive star be approaching the end of its cosmic journey? Join us as we delve into the gravity of this impending threat and its implications for all of us. Let's unravel the narrative of Polaris as it approaches its inevitable end. Polaris' position and its significance. For centuries, Polaris has served as the guiding North Star, a revered beacon for both astronomers and navigators. Its unwavering presence in the night sky has been a cornerstone for navigating by the stars, providing a reliable point of reference. However, the certainty we've found in this celestial guide may soon be disrupted, and the recent findings from a research paper presented by the esteemed Royal Astronomical Society in September 2023 have cast a shadow of uncertainty over the fate of this celestial luminary. This star, known as Polaris, or the North Star, is on the brink of a cataclysmic explosion that could make it vanish from the night sky forever. Before we delve into the profound implications of this revelation, let's acquaint ourselves with this extraordinary celestial body. Polaris occupies a unique position in the sky due to its proximity to the celestial North Pole. Positioned almost directly above Earth's North Pole, it seems nearly stationary in the northern sky. Residing in the constellation Ursa Minor, also known as the Little Dipper or the Small Bear, Polaris is a moderately bright star, a yellow-white supergiant that surpasses our sun in both size and brightness, albeit significantly farther away with an estimated radius about 40 times that of the sun. While Polaris may appear as a solitary star, it is, in fact, part of a complex triple star system. The primary stars, Polaris Aa and Polaris Ab, seem like a single star to the naked eye, accompanied by a third companion, Polaris B, orbiting the binary pair. The gravitational interactions among these stars shape their orbits and influence their behaviors, creating a web of intricate dynamics. These interactions also impact the luminosity and characteristics of the stars involved, causing irregular variations in luminosity or pulsation patterns when disturbances occur in their interactions. The intricate workings of the interactions among these stars remain a mystery to us at present. What we do know is that Polaris, positioned about 323 light-years away, sends its light on a journey that spans that distance and takes approximately 323 years to reach our Earth. Intriguingly, if Polaris were to burst into a dazzling explosion at this very moment, we wouldn't catch wind of it until 323 years from now. By the time we witness this celestial event from Earth, it will have unfolded more than three centuries in the past. Remarkably, scientists base their predictions on what they observe in the present, implying that Polaris might have already exploded, and we're simply awaiting the delayed arrival of the light from that extraordinary occurrence. Dive into history, and you'll find that the North Star, Polaris, has played a crucial role across civilizations and eras, carrying significant cultural, navigational, and symbolic weight. Its steadfast position near the celestial North Pole has bestowed it with unmatched importance. Imagine ancient mariners and travelers relying on this celestial guide, a stable, fixed beacon aiding them in navigating vast seas and unknown lands. Given its almost perfect alignment with the Earth's axis, Polaris became a reliable reference point for determining direction, particularly in the Northern Hemisphere. It stood as a symbol of constancy and unwavering support across various cultures. 
In the intricate dance of the night sky, Polaris emerged as a symbolic pole star, standing resolute amidst the cosmic ballet overhead. In tales passed down through myths and folklore, Polaris often took on profound meanings, a symbol of guidance, stability, or a heavenly anchor. Its unwavering position in the night sky didn't just capture the imagination of storytellers. It also became an indispensable tool for astronomers. For the stargazers peering through telescopes, Polaris served as a fixed reference point, a north star guiding their observations of other celestial bodies. It played a crucial role in unraveling the intricate motions and patterns of the night sky. The classification of this star is spectacular. Cepheid Variable Star What sets Polaris apart is its classification as a Cepheid Variable Star. This means it undergoes rhythmic changes in brightness, revealing invaluable insights into the properties of stars and the nature of variable stars. The pulsations of Polaris aren't just celestial theatrics. They hold practical significance. Scientists have harnessed this characteristic to make groundbreaking discoveries about cosmic distances and to fine-tune their measuring instruments. Ordinarily, these pulsations follow a predictable pattern, like a cosmic heartbeat that astronomers can easily anticipate. However, in a surprising twist, recent observations have shown that Polaris has strayed from its expected behavior. The star, usually so reliable in its celestial dance, has taken an unexpected turn, adding a captivating layer of mystery to our understanding of this cosmic luminary. The recent puzzling irregularities in Polaris's pulsation cycle have left astronomers scratching their heads, triggering a deep dive into this celestial mystery. Instead of the anticipated rhythmic dance of dimming and brightening, Polaris has thrown a cosmic curveball by showcasing an erratic and unpredictable cycle. This unexpected behavior has set off alarm bells among scientists, who are now voicing concerns that this beloved star might be approaching the end of its celestial journey. This shift aligns with the typical patterns seen in stars as they near the conclusion of their life cycles. The once stable pulsation period of Polaris has taken on a progressively elongated shape, indicating potential disruptions in the interactions within the star system, which we perceive as a unified entity. On our end of the cosmic theater, we've noted a yearly increase in the pulsation duration of Polaris by a seemingly modest 4.5 seconds. While this might sound trivial, it carries significant implications. Some astronomers cautiously suggest that gravitational tugs between the Polaris stars could be responsible for these atmospheric fluctuations, directly influencing the pulsation patterns we observe. Yet, there's skepticism among others who boldly propose a different narrative. They speculate that Polaris might be gearing up for a spectacular explosion. Comparison with Betelgeuse Star Adding to the intrigue is the uncanny resemblance between Polaris's enigmatic behavior and that of Betelgeuse, another notable star in the Orion constellation. Betelgeuse has displayed perplexing irregularities in luminosity, sparking speculation about a potential imminent explosion. Many experts are already sounding the alarm about Betelgeuse's eventual fate and the similarities in the fluctuations observed in both stars' brightness and patterns draw captivating parallels, leaving us to wonder about the cosmic symphony these celestial actors are performing. As Cepheid stars approach the twilight of their existence, they unveil intriguing patterns in their behavior, foreshadowing the culmination of their stellar journeys. These celestial beings, which have pulsated consistently for countless aeons, undergo peculiar shifts in their luminosity as they near the end of their cosmic odysseys. The anomalies displayed by Betelgeuse have seized the attention of NASA, leading the agency to heighten its concerns about the potential explosion of this stellar giant. Interestingly, this stands in contrast to the observed irregularities in Polaris, which, although noteworthy, have yet to officially trigger the same level of scrutiny and concern from NASA. Cepheid stars embark on a grand cosmic journey, traversing various phases in their evolutionary cycle. Starting as newborn stars with relatively low temperatures and brightness, they progress into the main sequence phase, characterized by stable nuclear fusion that can last for billions of years. 
Eventually, as their hydrogen fuel dwindles, they transition into the red giant phase, marked by a rapid surge in temperature and brightness. The red giant phase becomes a dazzling spectacle, witnessing a dramatic increase in energy output before reaching its zenith in a catastrophic explosion. In this explosive moment, they cast off their outer layers in a breathtaking display known as a supernova. What remains after this celestial spectacle is a compact and dense core, aptly named a white dwarf. Observing the irregular pulsations of Polaris, scientists are leaning towards a fascinating prediction. It seems this star has embarked on the stages of helium depletion, a phenomenon commonly witnessed in Cepheid stars as they approach the grand finale of their cosmic existence. As a Cepheid star exhausts its once stable helium supply, it doesn't go quietly into the cosmic night. Instead, it engages in a celestial dance of erratic pulsations, resulting in fluctuations in its brightness. This helium depletion triggers a cascading series of events, leading to irregular bursts of light that might be indicative of the depletion process unfolding within Polaris. However, it's crucial to bear in mind that while these irregularities align with behaviors typically seen in Cepheid stars entering their twilight phases, concrete evidence of Polaris approaching the ultimate stage of its life cycle remains elusive. Undeterred by the cosmic uncertainties, astronomers are delving into the intricate dance of light exhibited by Polaris, seeking to unravel the secrets of its impending fate. The prospect of Polaris going supernova is particularly tantalizing, a celestial spectacle that could light up our night sky in a truly spectacular fashion. Polaris suddenly blazing with an intensity that could outshine the moon, standing as one of the brightest objects in the celestial expanse. This cosmic fireworks display might endure for days, weeks, or even months. The transformation wouldn't just be in brightness. Polaris might undergo a dramatic shift in appearance. It could evolve into a brilliant point of light or a transient celestial marvel, perhaps adorned with colorful hues before gracefully fading away. The anticipation of such a stellar performance adds a layer of cosmic drama to our contemplation of Polaris's fate. The potential visual spectacle of a Polaris explosion could momentarily tweak our familiar view of the Big Dipper or Ursa Minor, considering that Polaris currently holds the prestigious title of the North Star and is a vital part of these constellations. But fear not, Earth would remain snugly safe given Polaris's considerable mass and distance even in the unlikely event of a stellar explosion. While a Polaris explosion might not rival the dramatic display of Betelgeuse, it could still be a striking sight visible to the naked eye, overshadowing nearby stars. Astronomers and observatories worldwide would undoubtedly take notice, stirring the curiosity of the scientific community and stargazers alike. Despite the potential visual spectacle, the impact on Earth's atmosphere or surroundings would likely be less significant compared to a closer supernova event. But what about Polaris's fate post-cataclysm? Let's clear the air. The post-explosion of the Polaris star. Polaris, unlike giant stars that usually end in a supernova, is unlikely to follow the same script. Supernovae typically involve a massive star, roughly eight times the mass of our sun, collapsing under its gravity after exhausting its nuclear fuel resulting in a colossal explosion. This final cataclysmic stage disperses heavy elements, sometimes birthing neutron stars or black holes. Supernovae come in two main flavors, type 1 and type 2. Type 2, more common, occurs in massive stars where the core collapses and outer layers explosively expel, emitting a burst of visible light and energy. Type 1, occurring in binary star systems with a white dwarf, involves scenarios like mass accumulation leading to nuclear fusion and an explosion. These Type I supernovae boast consistent brightness, making them valuable standard candles for measuring cosmic distances. Thanks to them, we estimate critical details like the age of the universe and the rate of its expansion. So, while Polaris's future is uncertain, the cosmic symphony continues to unfold with dazzling tales of celestial phenomena 
After a star experiences a supernova, the collapse of its core leads to the birth of either a neutron star or a black hole. A neutron star is incredibly dense, packing 1.4 to 3 times the mass of our sun into a space resembling a modern city, merely 12 miles or 20 kilometers in diameter. It's mainly composed of neutrons, subatomic particles found within atomic nuclei. In contrast, a black hole is infinitely dense, possessing gravitational forces so strong that even light cannot escape, rendering it black in the cosmic vastness. But Polaris, a Cepheid variable star, won't follow this route due to its size. While five times more massive than the Sun, it lacks the heft for a supernova explosion. Instead, as Polaris exhausts its nuclear fuel, it will gracefully shed its outer layers and transform into a white dwarf, a small yet extremely dense stellar remnant. Comparing Polaris's anticipated burst to historical supernovae, like SN 1054 or SN 1987 a offers valuable insights. Analyzing light curves, spectra, and remnants from recent supernova, such as SN 2011 FE and SN 2014 J, provides essential data for comparison. Scientists scrutinize differences in mass, composition, and ejected material to predict Polaris's potential evolution. Another crucial area involves comparing pulsational variability in stars like Polaris, approaching their end stages with observed supernova precursors. This analysis helps gauge similarities or deviations, enhancing our understanding of the potential burst mechanism. Despite careful observations, astronomers grapple with the perplexing irregularities in Polaris's behavior, defying complete explanation. The uncertainties surrounding Polaris's future pose substantial concerns, emphasizing the need for deeper investigations into the unique conditions triggering its anomalous behavior. Polaris, a vital reference point for telescopic calibration and celestial navigation, holds great importance in astronomical endeavors. The recent revelations from the Royal Astronomical Society underscore the critical need for intense scrutiny and research. If Polaris were to undergo a catastrophic event, the loss of this reference point could significantly impact the accuracy of ground-based telescopes and celestial measurements, requiring recalibration and affecting astronomical assessments. The unusual behavior exhibited by Polaris has opened a realm of uncertainties in the astronomical domain. The looming possibility of its impending burst calls for heightened vigilance, dedicated research endeavors, and a concerted effort to grasp the unique celestial intricacies shaping its strange behavior. Only time will unveil the answers to the cosmic riddles presented by Polaris, and in the meantime, the journey into the depths of stellar evolution and behavior continues, propelled by curiosity and the quest for understanding.